Today, we will learn about how to store fluidity by the conversion of rotational kinetic energy to the hydrodynamic energy of the fluid flow. The rotational energy typically comes from an engine or electric motor. They are a subclass of dynamic axisymmetric work absorbing turbine machinery. The fluid enters the pump impeller long or near to the rotating axis and is accelerated by the impeller, flowing radially outward into a diffuser or volute chamber casing from which it exits. Firstly, we can see the configuration of general centrifugal pump. That includes, suction valves, discharges valve, transmitter, warming up valve. Ok, we will start pump step by step following this video. Step 1, confirm lubrication oil for the centrifugal pump is in good condition. That includes confirmation of lube oil quality, level, and contaminant. Step 2, confirm cooling water for motor site is available. Cooling water plays an important role in cooling down to avoid overheat of motor side. Step 3. Confirm suction valve in open position. Step 4. Online flushing line. Some pump has internal flushing or external flushing line. With an external flushing line, we need to adjust flushing flow rate before start pump. The proper value of external flushing flow rate is dependent on the manufacturer. Step 5. Fully closed discharge valve and warming up valve. The warming up valve or heating up valve is designed for heating up pump during pump or stop to avoid liquid accumulation and gas inside. In normal case, the warming up valve keep open to warm up pump continuously. Regarding to the pump equipped overheating prevention valve, minimum flow valve, open that valve before starting the pump. Step 6. Start motor. Step 7. Confirm discharge pressure and electrical current increase. Step 8. Please slowly don't open discharge for a long valve time until opening open. the discharge valve and confirm that there is no abnormal noise, no abnormal vibration and no leakage before opening it. Step 9. Confirm floor 8, leakage and pump condition. Confirm the condition of each part after starting that includes temperature, vibration, abnormal noise, leakage, pressure, current, flushing. Lubricant level and condition of mechanical seal. If you have any opinion or experience, please let us know and discuss together. Please like, share and subscribe our channel to get more useful video about refinery.